Hey, how's it going? Big Gumbo here. So uh, today I thought it'd be a good idea to do an unboxing video, but instead of unboxing something good, I'll be unboxing four, five, six, seven returns here from eBay that I got over the last couple weeks. And we're gonna go through and see what got returned. I'm gonna put my lucky return chair right here. Little table. All right, now I hope you don't mind uh, my squeaky chair or my neighbors outside it's it's about beer time so they're gonna be drinking some beer doing some talking all right this one is from a nice lady named Roger just some basic Levi's 513s 32 30 they are pretty short that's that might be why total he paid $23 so they were probably like $15 plus shipping and Roger didn't like them because doesn't match description or photos. Item description states that waist is a 31. It measures 32. And he even sent a little picture measuring it. So he's a nice guy. I have a picture with it measuring 31, but I didn't pull it tight, stretch it like he did. That's kind of annoying. They didn't fit him. And this guy's a freaking dork. And he's annoying, but that's okay. I didn't realize I was gonna get so upset during this process. Roger's jeans didn't fit, and he could have just said that, but instead he said doesn't match description or photos. You know, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm over it. This person sent it in a Walmart box. Their name is Cheryl. I bet you I like Cheryl better than Roger. But you know what, Roger? If they don't fit, just put don't fit. I would be totally fine with that, you know? She's, she's trying to get a defect on that account. Ooh, Cheryl returned some Lululemon leggings, and these are ones that sold for 40 bucks. So that's a little upsetting. Excellent condition. They even have their little label here. And this was my fault. I put that these were the Lululemon Wonder Train leggings, but it turns out that they were the Lululemon Wonder Under leggings. I guess the Wonder Train has an elastic waist, which I thought this was. This feels like an elastic waist to me. She claims that no, these are the Wonder Unders. I'm gonna do a little more research. I still think, cause I did look up the style code that these are the Wonder Train which sells for more. I think the Wonder Unders go for like 25 to 30. The Wonder Train is more like a 40 to $50 legging. Cheryl, that is probably my fault. I don't know anything about Little Lemon. And she paid a good amount of money for these, so she's not a stingy lady. No problem with that at all. Cheryl, I'm sorry about that. If, if it was my fault, I'm sorry about that. All right, next up. This one, they didn't do such a good job sending it back to me, but no big deal. Some Roxy Linen, what do you call these, lounge pants? I call them lounge pants usually when I list them. They look to be in pretty good shape. Let's see why Jennifer returned these. And like I said, I'm sorry about the chair. It's a really old chair, it squeaks. Little refund to buy her $17.99. Uh, refund amount, you owe $15.97. Cool, not bad, I don't care about that. Let's see, love the pants, just way too short, thanks. And I did put measurements in there, just like everything else. So, and she did the item. The reason for the return was does not fit, which is totally fine with me. At least, um, unlike Roger, she's, you know, she's cool. She understands sometimes when you buy clothes online, they don't fit. Yeah, no big deal. This is just a return to sender. Um, so I'm gonna have to message this person. Let's see what was returned to sender. Nike Pro leggings. So they probably paid like 15 bucks for those, no big deal. Uh, this happens sometimes. You get this little sticker on there and you just have to message the buyer and say, hey, your thing got returned to me. It's super annoying if they want you to send it back out to them because it's like, dude, I already paid for shipping and I already sent it out to you. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna relist it just like I did the first time and you can buy it again if you want. I also re refund them everything, of course, uh, just because that's the professional thing to do. But Jessica Jones, oh shoot. Jessica J, I have your package. Next return, this is a real return. Oh, this one was a total bummer, dude. Fairity. 
It's always the good stuff that gets returned, like the Lulu's. Real nice button-up shirt. The way it's folded, there's almost... It's almost like they never even tried it on, because that's exactly how I fold a shirt. But let's see what they said. Oh, we have an invoice. Wrong size or doesn't fit. Now this, in the listing, if you look at my title there, Faraday men's button-up shirt, blah, blah, blah. XXL fits XL. So I measured it and I think it was like 24 inches across pit to pit, which should be an XL. Um, whatever, it, it didn't fit, no big deal. And the cool thing about getting, I like to save up my returns so then like, I give myself a break. So I usually do 20 listings a day, save up like five of them. And then I count those five as five of my listings. And it's just to be like, you know, here's a little break because you know, you got these returns and you should be sad. I don't really care about returns. Um, what's awesome about returns is as soon as you're top rated plus seller, as soon as they open up return, they can't leave bad feedback, which is dope. Now this, I can already tell you is a pair of shoes. I haven't sold a pair of shoes in a long, long time. Yeah, I don't know why I've got a pair of shoes here. We've got a grocery bag and then another grocery bag. Oh, this was a long time ago. I don't know why I'm just getting these now. Brand new, Drew shoes. So that's cool. Oh, and they've got Vibram soles. Women's 10.5 narrow. Now, if I had to guess, uh, the narrow shoe width has something to do with this return. Yeah, nobody's got narrow feet. Um, let's see why they got returned, see if it's still available here. It's been too long to see uh, why they got returned. I'm guessing it was because of the narrow. Um, over the last 90 days, I've had 34 returns. It's usually the good stuff that gets returned too. That's why I like selling $15 items because most of the time, if it doesn't fit, they don't even take the time to return it. We got one more here. Oh, this was a good sale too. Let's see, this is a, uh, a real nice like varsity leather wool letterman jacket with uh is blank and the company is called holloway and made in usa so i think it's vintage just a really nice blank one and it looked like when i picked it up i think they were going for like 35 bucks let's see what it sold for so they paid 42.90 for it including the shipping 32 plus 10.90 shipping so pretty good sale there, uh, and it got returned because ordered by mistake, ew. But then, in the comments they put, there's nothing wrong with the jacket, it's just a little too big for me. So just put, doesn't fit, you know? Because the reason for the return can uh, sometimes give you a defect, like if they put item not as described, which that one guy, Roger, did. Um, and I clearly showed a picture of the measurements in my photos, and Roger's just a I'm not gonna say it Rogers. I don't really care that much. I don't care at all if you return it because it doesn't fit. But if you're gonna be a little brat, Roger, then I care. Then I care. So that was my return haul. Thank you for watching. My name is Big Yumbo. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe or hit like.